Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we are playing Mountain Blade Bandalord and we're bringing you another armor video. This one being Top 5 Vlandian Armors. So that's uh, this little region over here, although most of it ha is not Vlandian controlled anymore, just these three. But basically these are the Western Norman lookalikes. So we're going to be doing 5 suits of armor that match that theme. So if you haven't seen any of the other videos in this series yet, first of all, I invite you to check them all out after this one because they're fantastic. And we'll cover other regions and suits of armor from the game that are awesome and you'll probably love. Uh, but basically what we do is we build 5 suits of armor that fit together, uh, both aesthetically and uh, functionally. And we give them each a theme, which is usually just based on some sort of a hierarchy from the culture that the society in this game is based on. And then we rank them based on, uh, we give them a weighted value for how much they weigh, how much value they have, and most importantly, the average armor rating, which is a composite score of how well they stand up in battle to various different types of attacks. So that is the primary way that these are ranked, but the weight and value do generally correspond with it. So with all that in mind, let's just jump right into the first suit of armor on this list. So the first one we're going to be looking at is the Western Levy. And as you may be able to tell, this one is supposed to look pretty simple and basic, like something that could be called up and quickly equipped. Now with that in mind, it is still relatively well armored, and this would be representative of the faction that we're looking at. The Vlandians are a group of mercenaries by trade that became very, very rich serving the Empire over a long time. So they own a very fertile and profitable stretch of land and they've been paid soldiers for a very long time. So it makes sense that their army would be one of the more professional ones that you'd see, meaning that levies could likely be expected to be well, well armored or at least more so than other levies for other factions. So with that in mind, this suit of armor is made up of the Guard's Kettle over Mail Coif, the Western Hauberk, the Reinforced Padded Mittens, and Reinforced Suede Boots. And I chose to equip this one with a Vlandian Lance, well, because a nice long spear works, and the Knight's Kite Shield. And then I even made them a custom dagger. Uh, really any dagger would do, but I figured might as well make one specifically for the Vlandian faction. Uh, you know, just in case someone gets up close and he needs to stab him. So there's the dagger right there. So like I said, pretty basic looking, but definitely a good suit of armor for a levy. This one has a weight of 12.4 kilograms, a value of 11,634 gold, placing it pretty dang expensive, which is going to be a common theme for this uh, faction, and then an AAR of 122, making it the best levied I've, uh, the best levy armor I've designed yet. So, with all that in mind, let's move on to the next one. Alright, so the next one we're going to be looking at is the Western Soldier. And so this one is a good step up on basically every degree. So, uh, for this one, the suit is made up of the Visored Helmet over Padded Coif, the Western Hood, the Red Tabard over Mail, Reinforced Leather Van Braces, and Mail Cavalier Boots, giving it a very balanced uh, performance and look, I would say. This one I decided to do pair with a Pernatch, which is a pretty decent mace, the same Knight's Kite Shield as before, and the same Dagger as before, giving it a more well-rounded and uh, up-close and personal feel than the last one. This one has a weight of 14.3 kilograms, a value of 26,387 gold, making it pretty dang expensive already, and an average armor rating, or AAR, of 136. So, that is the Soldier, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for the next one we have the Western Sergeant. Now this one, as you can see, is very similar to the last, but basically just an upgrade in every regard. This one is equipped with very similar weaponry with the Pernatch and the Vlandian Dagger, but gets an upgraded shield to the Wide Heater Shield. This suit is made up of the Full Helm over Melkoif, the Bolted Leather Strips, the White Tabard over Mel, which as you can see is a Heraldic Tabard, which will match, you know, very uh, the color should match yours, but the... Uh, crest is the Vlandian royal crest, uh, the male mittens, and the male chosses. So this is designed to be your veteran soldier, uh, commander of a unit maybe, or household guard. So this one has a weight of 18.9 kilograms, a value of 34,751 gold, and an average armor rating or AAR of 159, making it a very respectable and very attractive suit of armor. 
So that was the Western Sergeant. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so next we have the Vlandian Knight. And don't let his modest appearance fool you, this is actually an excellent suit of armor. So this one is made up of the Western Crowned Helmet, in my opinion, one of the coolest looking helmets in the game. Uh, the padded leather shoulders, the plated leather coat, the reinforced mail mittens, and the strapped mail chosses. And for this one, I armed him with a, another sword of my own creation, the Vlandian Arming Sword. But really, any arming sword would do and fit very well with this suit. And then I kept the wide heater shield and added a lance, because this is meant to be more of a higher-ranking mounted troop, and no knight is complete without his lance. So this suit has a weight of 22.4 kilograms, making it pretty heavy, a value of 141,821 gold, making it just ridiculously expensive, and an average armor rating, or AAR, of 181, making it one of the better suits of armor for uh, combat in the game. So, again, that was the Vlandian Knight, so let's move on to the next. Alright, and so for the fifth and final suit of armor we're going to look at today, we have the Vlandian Baron. Now this one is, in my opinion, one of the coolest suits of armor in the game. It just looks so awesome. So this one is made up of the Western Crowned Plated Helmet, which is just a really cool looking helmet. And it would offer very, very good protection. Then we have the Male Shoulders, the Coat of Plates Over Mail, which is my personal favorite chest armor in the game, the heavy mail mittens, and the splint boots. Like I said, just an awesome suit of armor. And for this one, we paired it with the same Vlandian arming sword as the previous one, a knight's shield, because, you know, why not? It fits very well, and it's a very good functional shield, and it works very well. And then the Vlandian dagger makes a reappearance, because every noble needs a dagger, because you can't always have a long sword with you. So this suit of armor has a weight of 36.1 kilograms, making it just very, very heavy to wear. A value of 261,336 gold, making it just ridiculously flamboyantly expensive. And an average armor rating or AAR of 200 on the dot. So that is the Vlandian Baron, and that is the most expensive suit of armor on this list. It has the best AAR and offers the best protection while also, in my opinion, looking the best. So that was the top five Vlandian armors from Mountain Blade Bannerlord. If you uh, like this video, of course, I always invite you to leave a like. And if you have any comments, uh, mostly centered around any suggestions you have for different suits of armor, things that you thought could have worked better with either one, or things that you wish were in the game that aren't, uh, I, of course, invite you to leave those in the comments down below. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.